And welcome back to The Breakfast on uh, Plus TV Africa. Now let's go back in history to the 27th of July in 1949. On this day, the very first commercial jet made, uh, made its uh, test flight. It was called the Comet. It was a creation of English aircraft designer and aviation pioneer, Sir uh, Geoffrey de, uh, de Havilland. Um, he lived from 1982 to 1965. He started out designing motorcycles and buses, but after seeing what Wilbur Wright, if you remember the history of um, airlines or air flight, Wilbur Wright demonstrated uh, that in 1908, um, Havilland decided to build his own. The Wright brothers had made their famous first flight in 1903 and, of course, uh, furthermore in 1908. Havilland successfully designed and piloted his first plane in 1910 and went to work on English aircraft manufacturers before starting his own company in 1920. But I also share a little bit, you know, with World War II, he was also a, one of the pioneers, one of the people who made uh, commercial jets and jet engines for German planes in World War II. Germany was one of the first countries to use uh, jet fighters uh, way back then. And um, uh, of course, uh, Havilland eventually then helped the British, I beg your pardon, to make their own jets and was knighted to his, uh, for his contributions to aviation in 1944. After the war, of course, he turned his focus to commercial jets and developed the Comet and the Ghost jet engines. Um, after his 1949 test flight, the Comet underwent uh, three more years of testing and training flights. And then in 1952, the British Overseas Aircraft Corporation began the very first world's uh, uh, first commercial jet service uh, with a 44-seat Comet 1A, flying passengers from London to, to uh, Johannesburg. Um, and of course, a lot later, if you uh, have followed aviation history, you must then also see where the, uh, the Concorde jet came from, which eventually, of course, has gone under now. But it was one of the most uh, fascinating aviation, um, um, you know, inventions. I think I can say that um, over time. But this all started with uh, uh, Havilland, de Havilland, who started this in 1949. And then down here in Nigeria in uh, the year 2019, to our second story in history, on this day in uh, Meiduguri, in uh, uh, 27th of July in 19, uh, 2019, I beg your pardon, at least 65 people lost their lives after suspected Boko Haram opened fire at a funeral in Nigeria's northeastern state of Borno. They arrived on motorcycles and in vans in the village uh, in the, uh, near the state capital of Meduguri, and a number of mourners were killed straight away when they opened fire at the burial ceremony. Some also you know, died while trying to chase away these uh, terrorists. Um, it was one, of course, of what Nigeria's very, very sad moments in history, losing 65 people in one day to, well, in the most gruesome way. Uh, the government has continued in its fight against insurgency and its fight against terrorism. But, you know, these things will, you know, always remain in our history and some of the very, very sad moments in Nigeria's history. This happened in 2019 on the 27th of July. 65 mourners lost their lives on that day. And that's uh, for today in history, 1949 and 2019.